Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another Lair by Lair tutorial. Today I wanted to go over a couple of different things. This is more of like the technique, not, not an actual project, but more of a technique to create new projects. So I got inspired by Jerry, uh, who goes by 3D Workbench, and he posted this on Thingiverse, which showcases how it's sort of his workflow on creating um, shapes and things for different projects. He, he likes to make a lot of... Uh, uh, transformer uh, models and this is a, a really powerful way to create um, really complex geometries uh, using sketches so it's, it's very sketch driven and really really uh, useful way to create things but this got me thinking of an alternative and I used to do a little bit of polygon modeling uh, using tools like Maya uh, from Autodesk and that's where you would directly manipulate um, vertices and edges and things. And one thing I, I, I liked from 123D, I actually um, will show you here, is the tweak feature. So in 123D, you're able to uh, select vertices and edges and then directly manipulate them by using this tweak command. So here you can like drag something in like this. So that's an edge. So I just created this thing. And then I could grab a vertice or a vertex, and then directly manipulate it like that. So you can create these very, um, of course it's low polygon. Well, it's not a polygon, but it's it's low resolution. But you can create these like, you know, interesting shapes. To create this with sketches would have been relatively time consuming. So that's one of the cool things I sort of miss uh, from 123D design. And But I, I figured out a way how to do exactly this type of thing uh, with Fusion 360. So I did a little bit of research, and although you don't have the tweak command, um, you can use something else. So here I have a box that I just made real quick. And you'll see if you try to do the same thing, if you hit the move command, you really can't manipulate edges like you can because it's a solid. It just doesn't like it. It just doesn't let you do that. So you can't really do that, right? So that's not that's the wrong approach to do it. So I'll delete that. So here's one way you can do it. So you have to create a form up right here under create. Create a form, and then let's create a box. And I'll just draw it on this floor plane. So I'll create something like 50 by 50. I'll hit, I'll click to accept it. And then you can uh, make the height something. Let's make it 50 as well. And what you see here is you get a couple options in your box um, panel, your sort of editing panel. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so what I'll do is I'll drop this, the length of faces down to two, and then everything else is two. So width, height, these are just the faces, right? And I'll hit OK. And now it's very puffy shape, and that could be something that you want. But if we wanted something very low polygon or very geometric and straight edges, you have to do something. So let me show you that. When you edit form, you can you can directly manipulate edges. So in this example, I can pull this out. And then you get this very, very puffy thing. But let me just undo that. To make it very, very uh, sharp and straight edged, like we had like we did in, in uh in one, two, three D, all you gotta do is select all the edges, and we can do that by making a marquee selection across all of them. So you see everything is selected. And then when you right click, you get a couple options. One of them is called crease. So if I crease all of these, it turns it into, well, a very sharp box. So now we have a box and what we can do here, now when we manipulate things, we can do exactly what we were doing in, in 123D design. So I can drag this out and, and make these kind of cool things. And, uh, but what, you know, this is fusion, so what we can do is we can do symmetry, which is one awesome thing. So I'll say I want this edge and this edge, and then it creates a, a, a green line in the center of that, and that lets me know it's, a, it's a symmetrical now. So whenever I modify something on this side, this side will also be affected. So if I were to drag this vertice, I also drag the vertice over there. So you get this, um, this cool type of thing here. So let me just start making things. And again, I'm not really making a specific project or anything. It's just showing you a technique for creating uh, new, new shapes and new geometries. So obviously, you can create a lot of different shapes with this, things that would kind of be difficult and time consuming with just sketches alone. So that's sort of the whole point here, right? 
and you can do you can do multiple geometry or multiple um, multiple symmetries. So if I wanted to do you know if I wanted to do this edge and this edge, you could totally do that, and that would create a green line across this. But I'm just kind of playing around with this. So if you were making like a low polygon figure or uh, just a very geometric and sharp edge thing, you can totally do that using the the sculpt tool and. The thing about the sculpt tool is it's very much um, every you know it's T spline, so everything's very curvy and it's all great and things. But if you want to do low polygon stuff, this is actually a pretty interesting way to do that. And when you hit finish form, you can you can add chamfers, you can add fillets and all that stuff, and you can even shell things out. So if I wanted to shell this out, let's see what happens. Shell. You can shell that out, no problem. So now I have a shell here. I don't know what this would be, but you know. One example though is I, I created this like sword type thing and it, it's kind of difficult to create the tip of a sword where you have uh, all these, you know, all these uh, edges are, are very much like at an angle and you can't really do this with chamfers. So this is really easy to put together because you can directly manipulate uh, all of those vertices. And if you want to go back in there, you can just I'll right click on it and hit edit and then you can go back in there and edit it. and you can see here that I have um, uh, sy symmetry uh, going on the X and the Y so if I, w if I didn't want this to be so pointy I would bring this in like that you know hit OK hit finish form and there you go it gets updated you get a couple of uh, these weird lines here but it's it's very flat and when you export it out as an STL to 3D print it, um, it, it works out really well. And you can, you know, create more shapes and all that stuff. So that's one thing. I thought it'd be interesting to make this sword because I haven't really been able to make this because, you know, typically I would make it out of sketches and, you know, fuss with the, uh, the, the angles and things and move things around or use other solids to chisel it out. And that's one way to do it, but I think this is a pretty interesting way. That's all I wanted to go over, really. It's just a really quick and short one. Um... If you guys have any questions or any suggestions on, how to, on using this technique, let me know in the comments below, and maybe I'll put that together. But uh, for future projects and things that are going to be more maybe cosplay or, or, or model uh, character driven, I think this would be a pretty interesting technique and method. That's it for this one, guys. I'll see you guys. See you guys. See you guys in the, you guys in the next. Guys in the next one. Bye.